The Advanced Encryption Standard Block Cipher was released as a FIPS standard by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, back in the year 2001. Chapter 1 of this specification, which is publicly available on the NIST website, then states that AES processes data blocks of 128 bits and accepts keys of length 128 bits, 192 bits and 256 bits. Internally, AES processes these 128-bit inputs in either 10, 12 or 14 rounds, depending on the key size, where in each round an internal state is transformed by having a round key added, having bytes substituted, having rows shifted and having columns mixed. The result of the internal state after all the rounds finished is then the output as the 128-bit cipher corresponding to the 128-bit input. In the demonstration following, you will see how I set out to implement AES straight from the specification, verified against the test vectors as given by this specification in its Appendix C. To drive the implementation of AES, I decided to work against the official test vectors as given by the NIST AES specification in its Appendix C. The first test vector found in Appendix C1 on page 35 is a test vector for AES with a 128-bit key. The plain text and key for this test case are clear. The expected ciphertext is found as the output of round 10 as AES for a 128-bit key is defined to internally run for 10 rounds to produce the ciphertext. To have a syntactically correct program, I added a dummy encryption function returning an empty byte string. To ease my mental load later on, I made use of Python's type annotation to indicate that the data, the key and the cipher calculated will be byte strings. Running this program indicated that this is a correct Python program, but with the failing test case, obviously not yet a correct AES encryption implementation. The second test vector given by the specification is a test vector for AES with 192 bit keys found in Appendix C2 on page 38. The third and last test vector chosen to drive this AES implementation was then a test vector for AES with 256 bit keys to be found in Appendix C3 on page 42. With this, 
the driver for the AES encryption implementation was written and was gloriously failing as desired.